Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe and I'm back with another quick insight and a mini tutorial. I'll do a much more in-depth tutorial of what we're going to be talking about today. So today we're going to be talking about the metahumans as always. Uh, this is one of my favorite projects to work with in the Unreal Engine and uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, a question is, is it possible to send mock-up data from iClone, right? <laughs> and clearly, my, the answer to that question is yes, definitely. It is possible to send mock-up data from iClone all the way to the Unreal Engine and drive the MetaHuman using that mock-up data. So guys, if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe to my to my YouTube channel right here and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. So thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, to all my steady subscribers and uh, thank you for your support, guys, and my patrons. I truly, truly appreciate that. So I was excited when I learned how to, when I figured out how to do this and a special thank you to Luke who was able to help me figure this out because I wanted to take my animation that I'd created inside of uh, iClone, send it to the uh, Unreal Engine and drive the meta human. Okay, because when this hap when this became possible, so many op or possibilities opened up guys. This opens up a whole bunch of opportunities to take mock-up files that you already have in iClone and all these other you know mock-up packs from the Acta Core uh, library online that's uh, made by Reallusion. That library has uh, an amazing selection of uh, packs for film, entertainment, games, you name it. And so that's why I was excited to get this to work. And the way I got it to work was I actually exported uh, this mesh, the mesh of the MetaHuman, into 3D Exchange. You can see it over here, okay? And then brought it into iClone. You can see it over here. And in the Unreal Engine, I was able to retarget it to the MetaHuman. <laughs> all right, so the way it works is that, uh, first of all, you have to make sure the live link is running in uh, the Unreal Engine. And right now you can see that uh, the live link for the uh, live link face is working. So I'm, I'm able to speak and the character is able to have facial animation. And so this makes it a, an added bonus that you can actually add the iClone live link and you're able to bring in the mockup file, mockup data together with the facial animation. That is what is exciting for me because I can take that all the libraries that I have, including including guys using the Perception Neuron mockup suit to go into the Unreal Engine using the live link. Now this live link for iClone, uh, Unreal to I, iClone to Unreal Engine is free. So you can grab that from the marketplace. So watch this. I'm gonna, it's, it's active right now. So I'm gonna go to iClone and make sure I go to plugins, uh, Unreal Live Link, then load the Unreal Live Link after I've sent this file from 3D Exchange to iClone and then activate the link. And let me move this down so you can see it happening in real time. Uh, let's bring back iClone. Let me resize this a little bit. All right, let's see if it's gonna work. Let's go back to iClone and moment of truth. Moment of truth, guys. Is it going to work? Boom. <laughs> so what this means is that any mocha file that you have in iClone, any of these packs can be used on the MetaHuman character. So when the MetaHuman project and MetaHuman character creator comes out, have this confidence that you there's a way to get this mockup data from the iClone, from iClone into Unreal Engine using the live link, which is free. And so let's go, let's go ahead and play this animation because I've double clicked on it. And let's play it back here and see what happens. Okay, so there's the character 
and um, let me make sure this is looped over here. <laughs> okay, I got, I'm going to be drinking a lot of coffee, it looks like, from this mockup. So the mockup file is playing, right? And let me turn on loop here and play again. So any mockup file that you can load inside of Arclon and applied. Ah, I got to drink the coffee while the mockup is coming. Okay, let me run again. <laughs> so any mockup file that you use here is you're able to send it with, uh, directly into the Unreal Engine, into Live Link. Come here, coffee again. <laughs> ah, that's a good drink right there. <laughs> So you're able to send that mockup data into the Unreal Engine and drive the meta human. And that is, to me, is very exciting. Now I'm thinking, OK, I got to drink again. <laughs> I'm thinking, OK, what else can I do with these meta humans? Now that I know I'm able to edit the mockup and it comes in right away. And every time I have to drink, I think it's coming up. Here comes the coffee. Thank you for the patrons, guys. Thank you for the coffee. All right, enough with that. But that was very funny to me because I knew I was going to be talking and I'm going to have to drink the coffee a lot. So that's not the only mockup file that you can use. So let's try out. Uh, that mockup file came from working here. And so I can rewind, go to the first frame. And then let's see which one. This chatting. Yeah, let's try that one. Double click on it. Wait, hold, hold on. I make sure. The character is selected in the viewport. Okay, and this is happening in real time, guys. Double click on it and then play back. So there's the animation. Hey, dudes, what are you doing over there? Come on. I'm doing some work over here. Stop, stop making all that ruckus, okay? All right, let me get back to work. All right, <laughs> guys, this is what I mean is that it opens up a whole array or range of uh, options for mock up. And so what is neat is that not only do you have access to now to all this mockup that you purchased from the actor core, or maybe that you've brought in from Mixamo, any source of mockup file that you have and you've created a bank of sorts in here, you can use it. You know? And so I'm using this one because he was kind of sitting down and he's in some kind of restaurant as well. I'll, I'll turn on, on for a second so you can see it. But what is really neat is that you can also use the perception neuron data. So let's start with the uh, Axis Studio. So here's a mockup file that I made. And this is something I, I, this is the Axis Studio suit with the gloves, right? So we want to be able to uh, stream this into the Unreal Engine using Live Link. So make sure up here under your settings that you have it set to broadcasting and make sure displacement is enabled because right now we're coming from iClone to the Unreal Engine, not just directly from the Axis Studio to uh, the Unreal Engine. Okay, so that is, I make sure, let me turn on looping here and let's go back. It's going to be playing in the background there. Okay, so what I need to go to do is go to iClone and we're going to remove the animation that's on, on there right now. We'll keep the live link running in the background. So I need to go to the timeline and scroll down, delete that. So it goes back in a T pause, rewind. And now instead of a mockup file, we're going to go to make sure that the character is selected in the viewport here. Go to plugins, uh, motion live, bring up motion live. Let me bring it over on this window on this side. And I'm going to turn on Perception Neuron and turn on the body, select Perception Neuron, and we're going to press Preview, Moment of Truth, okay, and press Spacebar. Okay, so now the mockup data is coming in straight from the Axis Studio suit. So whatever the character is doing over here is what you're going to see the character do in the Unreal Engine. So it's move this camera over a little bit so we can see him better and so there there it is guys <laughs> that is really cool that you can use the live link straight from access studio and then you're able to drive the iClone character here 
and that character in turn is driving the meta human so and i think once you this animation is recorded any like penetrations can then be edited in edited right here in the in iclone so guys i hope that was helpful today was just uh, another quick insight to show that you can use the uh, perception neuron suit the mock-up data from your library in iclone and use the live link motion live it's a combination of all things and the unreal live link to send that animation data and drive the meta human which is really 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 cool and so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, deactivate the this one perception neuron just press space bar to stop that thank you so much guys for joining me today and i hope that was helpful uh we'll continue to do more testing with this uh let's see uh let's go out with uh some few dancing like uh let's see what can we use in this smart gallery uh maybe evolution of dance i want to do some dancing where's okay let's do evolution of dancing right here and let's see if the meta human can dance to some of this okay so we're gonna close motion live and make sure we're on the first keyframe and let's double click uh let's try with this one first <laughs> and let's press play Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that, look at that guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, meta human. Did you didn't know the meta human could do all that, right? <laughs> all right. So let's try another one. <laughs> let's try this one. Kent Ash says. All right, so I think I added the mock-up, right? Let's first go back to the beginning and bring up the timeline. Make sure I remove all the mock-up. And I think I may have, let me see, screen fit to window. Let's remove this one also and then rewind the beginning. Let's go back to our smart gallery. Let's see can touch this make sure it's on the first frame you can touch this let's go can touch this <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for joining me today and i hope that was uh helpful i'll do uh, another in-depth tutorial and uh showing how like the int I, I went through with the entire process and did that and it, this is fun this is like really 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 fun all right and uh let me see let me add something i wanted to show you real quick let's first go back at the beginning let's delete all this mock-up go to the very beginning and let's pick up the office working and i can go to maybe idle i'm looking for desk idle motion this one okay and so the idea again is that to be able to talk as if you are in an office and let me bring up the environment so this environment that you're gonna see was brought in using uh data smith so there's a character the meta human Oops, sorry, can't do that. All right, guys. And so I'm going to go ahead and let me see if I can switch to my cinematic camera over here. I'll move it to a place. Just, this is just a place hold again, guys, so you can see. And <clears throat> a cinematic viewport. Sorry.
I want to see what it does like right here. And then let's go to iClone and let's play back. All right, guys. So again, the idea is I'm going to select side light. All right. Is uh, iClone. All right, it's playing. All right, it's looping. That's good. All right, so this is uh, an example of what you know the character would look like in an office setting, and he's talking. You're using the right now. I'm using the iPhone 10 to drive the facial animation, and the mockup data is streaming in from iClone, so you can then record this. Uh, and so, guys, I hope that was insightful, <laughs> and I hope it was uh, as much fun to you as it was to me. The dancing was my favorite favorite part of it. So, thank you so much for joining me today, guys, and uh, see you next time with another quick insight and tutorial. And I'll do my best to do an in-depth tutorial of how I was able to achieve the whole process of getting the uh, the mesh into 3D Exchange and then back here and then linking it up. So, thank you as always. See you next time and please stay safe as always. Dare to dream big guys and never give up on your dream. Thank you so much and bye for now.